Hello, welcome to a President Jackson video. This is the uh, Jackson from a previous video where I added an extra band. Uh, the extra band in question at the moment is um, on the Roger Peep switch. I did order a, a six way band switch from China. Uh, <laughs> in fact, it was two of them for like three quid, postage included and whatever, which uh, <laughs> which obviously seems too good to be true. When it turned up, they were both four-way switches. So got in contact with uh, the vendor and went round in circles. Um, I don't think they understood uh, a word of English. So basically left at that. Got nowhere with them. Yeah. That's the uh, that's the joys of eBay, and uh, dealing with China. So um, I'm still I've still got the I've still got the original five way band switch on here. So um, originally uh, this would have had a fourteen five five zero meg crystal. It's now got a fifteen meg crystal. So it shifted all the five bands up by one band. So super low became low, low became mid, mid became high, and so and so. So I gained 10 meters. So it, it goes up to uh, 28, uh, 755, I think it is, or 775. There anyway. And by uh, adding a few extra diodes to the matrix here, uh, you can add one extra band below. So I've now gained my super low back. It would have been super, super low. Because everything's been shifted up one band, I've now gained my super low back. So it's uh, it's super low, then low, and then low, mid, high, super high, super, super high, 10 meters, blah, 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 blah. So six bands. So that bit is uh, is up and running, and that's no problem. Uh, this video is to um, show how to connect up uh, one of these uh, counters. Got a couple of these kicking about. Really uh, useful counters. The uh, Superstar KFV1. You can get them in uh, other other guises as well. I've got a couple of these. I got these two. I wouldn't say spare uh, because they're going on my radios. So this one's going on to my uh, Jackson. Came off a uh, came off a 148 Cobra. And the other counter here is going on to my present Richard. So basically, what we have, we have uh, uh, four wires and a mini coax, and the four wires are as follows: the brown wire is uh, negative. That's negative. The red wire is positive voltage, so anywhere between about eight volts and twelve volts or so. I like to use the uh, eight volt rail on the radio. <laughs> The um, yellow is uh, LSB, that's the LSB pickup, and the orange is the USB pickup. Ideally, you should have um, a 10K resistor in series with each one of these wires. But just for the purposes of uh, showing how to connect it up, I won't put those in line at the moment. But uh, I will be doing it once they're connected up properly. So make sure your radio is unpowered. <laughs> Uh, the uh, mode switch here, the USB and LSB wires connect here. So if I bring my meter over, connect up some power. Connect some power, turn the radio on. As you can see there, we are on. Set the range to volts it was on millivolts so we are on um usb so this connection here should be usb we have 8.5 volts switch to lsb and the voltage should drop away to nothing and we now got eight volts on usb so that's us usb uh sorry that's lsb lsb voltage switch to usb 
and the voltage is back. Switch to AM and it drops. Shouldn't get anything on any of the on the USB or uh, on the USB or LSB, as we haven't. And now we're on FM, so that's FM, AM, USB. LSB. So those are the voltages. So those are the pickups there. That's going to be uh, where the uh, orange and yellow wire are connected. So uh, disconnect the power again. Don't want any shorts. So it's a simple matter of taking your counter, putting a bring a small value capacitor. On the end of the coax, in this case it's a 18 picofarad. Ideally, you want a bit of heat shrink sleeving or something over it so it doesn't short if it comes loose or anything like that. It gives a bit of uh, added uh, strength to the wire here because it's a very, very thin wire and it's a, it looks like it's a single core. I don't think it is a single core, but it's, it's quite, quite a brittle wire and uh, can snap off quite easily with a bit of flexing. So it snaps off right on that joint there. So um, we shall connect it up. So the brown is negative. Just pick um, part of the negative uh, foil. So there we go, there's that. This track here is eight volts. That runs up from the eight volt voltage regulator. That powers the PLL and the uh, binary adders and whatever. So we'll tap off there. So we go for wrong wire. It's got to be orange. Uh, sorry, it's got to be red. So there's the eight volts. Just uh, quickly tack it on. The orange is USB, which in this case is that connection there. And then LSB is this one. So that's the uh, voltage bit done. All we're left with now is the VCO pickup. I tested the VCO pickup earlier on, so I know which one it is. Just add a bit of uh, solder to this pad. We connect the braid to there. And the pickup goes to this pad here, or this, this trace. This trace there. That's basically that. Obviously, uh, once it's done properly, I'm going to put the wires on the opposite side. All the wires will be going on this side. There's, um, there's a handy component on the opposite side which I can just about get to to tack the capacitor to. So that's the uh, counter rigged up. We shall apply some power. And we have 26954.9. Well, that's close enough. To the clarifier slightly, 26955. 26515. So if we press our switch in now, we should drop us down one block. So there we go, 26065 to 26505. Switch out, 26515 to 26955. And then uh, we can uh, come up to 28755. Or 765 with the 10kc plus or the plus 10kc uh, shift button in and that's just uh, that's just this that's just a super low button there switching the uh, eight volts back and forth so um right so that, that's basically the mod so we're going back down to It's 405, 27.405, and the range we have on the K 
KC shift or the course tune it is you know, well over well over five there it's uh it's actually about 6.2 So there's five again. Not quite as much. Yeah, yeah, about uh, about six each way. <laughs> or just over six each way. So that's basically it. That's how simple it is to connect it up. Now uh, <laughs> take it all back off. Obviously unplug the radio, make sure it's disconnected from power. Take it all back off and do it tidy so it all looks nice. But that's just to prove it works and uh, how easy it is to rig up. To rig up a counter to a Jackson. By the way, this Jackson is the... Hold on a second. Let me just disconnect power. Do want any undo shorts. This Jackson is the uh, PB... Zero four two AE. This is the AE chassis. So we shall uh, run everything now across and probably drill a small hole in the back here and um, in fact I might remove the PA. I might remove the PA socket. You can see it there. I might remove the PA socket. Got no intention using PA. So I might remove the PA socket and uh, run the wires out through it, put a little grommet in and run the wires out through, that'd be nice. Um, I've disconnected the um, extension S meter on this socket here. I've disconnected, let me get rid of that. Disconnected the S meter, the extension S meter there. Got no need for that at all. So I'll be putting a, um, RCA, um, an RCA socket on there so uh, I can uh, have hard switching for a linear rather than having a delay. So um, that's what I would be doing on there. Whether or not I've got enough room, I should have enough room to uh, put a transverter in here at some point, which would uh, be useful. So that might be for another day though. So that's how you uh, connect a counter to a present Jackson and the principle is the same for most Unidin radios the principle is the same wire outputs are the same or the, the wire connections are the same the only, uh, the, only, the only difference being really is obviously these two pads won't correspond to the two pads uh, on your radio so you'll just have to find uh, where the wires come off the mode switch to the board. You can tack straight onto the mode switch if you want to, which is what I shall be doing. But uh, you can go off the board if you want to. Again, uh, make sure you put the 10K resistors in series. Just to isolate the uh, radio from the counter. That's basically all it is. And um, you'll, offer, uh, you'll have to have a little bit of a dig about in the circuitry to find where the pickup is for the... Uh, VCO output to run the counter, but it couldn't be simpler. A couple of wires, uh, capacitor, low value capacitor. So this one's uh, 18 picofarad. You can go 10 picofarads or 15, anywhere on there. And um, there you go. That's basically all there is to it. So, uh, as usual, thanks for watching.